right, Kyle says it wasn't jaw dropping. It wasn't bad either. I'm extremely happy and satisfied with what we got. The show overall 8.2 out of 10. I have my complaints, but there are things I love with the show. Glad to be here. Star Wars is back. I think I feel the same way as you, man. I, I'd give the show like an 8. Yeah, I give the show an 8 out of 10. The whole show as a whole, 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Strong. I'm not blown away, but I don't I don't hate it. So I'm just kind of like, I'm literally the father. I'm the balance. I'm in between. I'm the Bendu. It's just kind of like more lore to add to the story, I guess. Wildfire says the show is the same as all others, a big nothing burger. And now Balin has been wasted. Rest in peace, Ray. He was the best and didn't get a finished story. Wow. He's not wasted, dude. He's going to probably have his story embellished more in the next season. I still think Dave is better than anything else they got there. To everyone who doubts this show, I find a lack of faith disturbing. This was better than Andor and Mandalorian combined. It definitely was better than Andor and Mandalorian, but can you compare it to Andor? Andor is kind of just like a exposition to Rogue One outside of the events of the main characters. It's kind of like losing a good college rivalry game. We could say, well, hopefully we do better next year. <laughs> I mean, look, they built the story, right? They built the story for the movie or the next season. I don't really know. Ahsoka was awesome. I just don't why so many people are hating on the show for it's mainly because people just don't understand the story. Well, look, I mean, you have people who like hate Star Wars now, and then you have people who genuinely don't like the show. So, you know, but, but that's a mixture with people who like it too. You know, there's people who just like, like it for the cause or to like hate on people who don't like the show. And then you have people who actually like the show. So it's really hard to tell. I don't really go by that. I go more so by like, like you guys. First of all, the chat here would have been 10 out of 10, but no fat Mace Windu. Beginning was slow, but holy tight. 8.5 out of 10. Oh, Jordan liked it. Nice. Definitely setting this up for the movie, says Zachary. The lightsaber fights just make me mad. Like cut them in half, says fanatical Miles. Yeah. What the hell? Dude, lightsabers are... They, they cut. 7 out of 10 episode. It was fun as an episode, but a little lacking as a finale. The season was definitely just meant to be a setup for everything else that Lucasfilm was planned. Yeah, I think so too. I don't doubt if Kathleen Kennedy had something to do with Dave's writing choices, but it has definitely made a dent on his reputation. I don't have faith in Filoni anymore. I'm just still, still trying to be hopeful. I, I don't think it's at the point... If it was at the point where I was going to be like, no, screw this, I'm done, I would definitely say that. I'm definitely candid enough to say that. But... I'm not there. This movie needs to be called Heir to the Empire. What a banger. Tony liked it. Okay, cool. I hate how strong the show started and then just dipped. And then, like, just bleh. The whole Balin thing was good, but everything else just meh. 6 out of 10 says Sammy Galindo. Bro, just go back to Legend stuff. This is trash. As a whole, the show was great, says Elijah. However, 7 and 8 lacked the climax that Part 6 had built up. Oh, part 6 was amazing. To watch that episode over and over. I remember being on the plane, re-watching Episode 6. Really wish they had put more of Balin's story. Yeah, me too. They were probably like, oh, we'll do that in season two. We're just setting it up. But then, what's up, Tico? Love the finale in the season. Can't wait for season two. When do you guys think we're going to get a season two? 